Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and get ready for another action-packed, stunt-filled episode of The Range Rider, starring Jock Mahoney and Dickie Jones. This show was a classic television show at the beginning of television, and it is made for the kids to watch. It's a wonderful television show, and it's all brought to you free here on the internet by Westerns on the Web. Your home for free, classic, family-friendly Western television shows and movies. These two are just amazing horsemen, amazing stuntmen. They did all their own stunts. They did all their own horse work. These guys are just simply amazing to watch. Appreciate you coming by here. Have fun watching this, and we'll see you after the show. could be more at home on the range than the Range Rider, with his thrilling adventures of the great outdoors, his exciting experiences rivaling those of Davy Crockett, Daniel Boone, Buffalo Bill, and other pioneers of this wonderful country of ours, and Dick West, all-American boy. <laughs> Where did you get it? Oh, it just grazed me. Knocked me out for a minute. Sure got you to thanks for helping me. You know who it was? The Diamond Hitch Gang, like always. That's who we're after. I sure hope you get them. Think you can make it in town all right? I'll make it all right. Thanks again for helping me. Good luck. Well, we lost them again. We still haven't got a lead on the trail. And we looked every place in the state where they've showed up. Yep, we've looked every place except where they haven't been. What kind of sense does that make? Well, it just struck me that they've pulled raids all over the country except the Three Trails country. Well, that's right, but... Well, I've been thinking. We don't know where their hideout is. We don't know who their leader is. But he's smart enough not to draw attention to his home ground. I get it. If he doesn't pull any raids where his hideout is, then nobody will get nosy around there. And if no one gets nosy, well... That's it. That's it. We're going to get nosy about the Three Trails country. Yeah? Yeah. I'm ready. Well, I'll try and keep up with
Howdy. Howdy. You mind if I rest a spell? No, help yourself. I always liked this place. There was a time when I thought of buying this hotel. If you want to buy yourself a hotel, why don't you buy yourself a good one? Like the Waldorf Astoria in New York. Say, uh, your name wouldn't be Booth, would it? Booth? No, it's Thomas. That's so? How have things been going, Thomas? Oh, pretty well. I'm tired as all. feel like I want to settle down. It's been a long time since I've been here. 20, uh, 30 years, maybe? No, only a few months. I forget how many, but it isn't years. Say, Thomas, uh, I've just been thinking. If you really mean what you say about uh, settling down and you like the place, I might consider selling out. Oh. Is that so? Well, really? You've been doing all right. Uh, if you dug those greenbacks out of the dirt. I must have stopped somewhere and cashed in. Yeah? Howdy. I've come from a paper, Sims. Paper? Oh, your newspaper. Well, you know that doggone stage driver didn't leave any of this strip. Must have forgotten to pick him up at Black River. Forgot to pick him up? Well, he's going to get a piece of my mind, I can tell you that. I ain't just an ordinary subscriber. I'm the sheriff. And I got to know what's going on around here. Sure you do, Sheriff. Weren't you reading a newspaper when I came in? Uh, oh, that, uh, that was last week's. Now, listen, I think we can make a deal. Why don't you go on upstairs and look the rooms over? Oh, I sure would like to settle down. You go on up. I'll get the keys. What's the matter with you? I just wondered what he was running away from. Oh, now look. Everybody knows the range rider's the world's greatest tracker. But how can you tell a guy's running away from something just by looking at him? Well, he rides so badly that if he didn't have something on his mind, he'd probably slow down so he won't jar himself to pieces. Hey, now something new's been added. Let's find out what it's all about. Named Sims ran a hotel up in Three Trails. I'm afraid he's dead. We saw him hit the tree. Why are we chasing him? I wasn't exactly chasing him. He's a friend of mine. I hailed him. He took off like his horse was running away with him. Well, you could tell he wasn't much of a rider. No, he could hardly sit in the saddle. Hey, what do you make of this? 
Well, it looked like he was tearing up some paper while he was writing. Missing mill. Doesn't make sense. Missing mill. Who ever heard of a mill missing? Well, it's too deep for me, and the rest of the paper is probably blown away anyhow. Yeah. By the way, I ranch up in this country. My name's Harrison. I'm the range rider, Harrison. I've heard a lot about you. I'm a sidekick, Dick West. Hello. I guess we better get your friend back to three trails. Yeah. Never heard of a missing mill. All I know is he sold the hotel to this prospector. Any idea why Sims was in such a hurry to get out of town? Dang it, I know. It looked like he just couldn't wait to get going. Well, I think I'll have a look at the new landlord before I go back to the ranch. See you around. See you, Mr. Harrison. Dickie and I figured that this Diamond Hitch gang is holed up someplace in this area. Look here, Range Rider, I got a lot of respect for you, but I ain't gonna stand for you saying that I don't know my own business. Well, it's not that, Sheriff. It's just that you've never had any raids up around here, and, and we figure that these alhoots are smart enough not to pull anything where they hide out. Yeah? Well, I'm smart enough to know my own county. Of course you do, Sheriff. Come on, Dick. Darn smart, Alec. Criticizing the best sheriff this county ever had. All I know is he wanted to sell and I wanted to settle down. If you have an empty room, Mr. Thomas, I think we'd like to stay for a while. Uh, yeah, sure. I have a room for you, two nice beds. You want to see it? Might as well. What do you want to stay here for? You shook hands with Thomas, didn't you? Yeah? His hands are white and soft, and whatever he did before, he wasn't handling the miner's pick. Hey, you think he's got something to do with the diamond hitch? Well, whether he has or not, this is where we start getting nosy. Boss, you look like somebody's been twisting your tail. Ah, uh, Sims finally ran out on us. He's dead. Sims is dead. Dead? There's only one answer. Sims was always yellow. When he heard the range rider was coming this way, he ran out on us. Yeah, well, that leaves us in a tough spot. How are we gonna get enough ammunition without Sims to smuggle it to us? Oh, I'll fix it some way. Yeah, well, you better hurry. We're low now. None of the rest of us can buy any without the law getting suspicious. The last shipment Sims ordered for us should be at the hotel today. That'll run us a while. Yeah, well, what about the range rider? Well, he's up here looking for us, all right. But he don't know who we are, does he? No. And we know who he is, don't we? Just a minute, lady. I, you've made a mistake. I never saw you before. Oh, Father, please try to remember. You must. I have nothing to remember. You've just taken me for somebody else. I had a feeling I'd find you here. I thought when you saw me, you might remember. But if you don't, I'm going to stay with you until you do. Uh, I hope you have a nice room I could take, Mr. Uh... Thomas, I have a room for you. Oh, thank you. Howdy, ma'am. Um, I'm Dick West. Yes. Yes. Um, I live in the hotel with my partner. It's a nice little hotel. I'm sure you like it. And, and if there's anything I can do for you, just remember the name's Dick West. Well, thank you, Mr. West. Hey, what's keeping you? The most beautiful girl in the world. And she's gonna live here. You and your beautiful girls. Uh -huh. But there's something else. There's something going on between her and Thomas, but I can't figure out what. Whatever it is, we know where to find them. We're no closer to the Diamond Hitch Gang than we ever were, so let's go. Up, 
Dickie, you take the west side of the valley and I'll take the east. See you back here in a couple hours. Now, keep your eyes open. You can count on me. Okay, partner. Okay, partner. Range Riders, pal, alone. You two boys pick up the kid while Jake and I get the shipment at the hotel. Oh. Grabbing the kid, at least we'll have some insurance. What's the matter, fella? What happened? Huh? You all right? Oh. you, ma'am. I'd like to get this letter out on the next stage. It's the Dr. Anderson. You know. I'm afraid I don't. I never heard of any Dr. Anderson. Howdy, Mr. Thomas. Howdy. Sam just ordered things for me from Black River, Mr. Thomas, in his own name. You seen anything of a keg of horseshoe nails? I put them out here. I'll get them. Fine. Here's... Ain't no prospector that's Owen Booth. You're local. What would the president of a big mining combine be doing out here? He had what they call a nervous breakdown. It was in the Black River paper when I was there. He disappeared, and now there's a $10,000 reward for finding him. That could explain why Sims took off like he did, trying to get that reward for himself. And that piece of paper he had in his... What piece of paper? He had a piece of crumpled paper in his hand when he died. Missing mill, it said. Missing mill, missing millionaire. Is this the barrel you want? That's it, thanks. We'll see you later. So long, Mr. Thomas. It's getting late. Guess I'd better get some sleep. You wake me up when the range rider gets here. Good night. It's me, the range rider. Well, put him up anyway. What have you been doing? I was supposed to meet Dickie out on the range. He didn't show up. I thought he'd be back here. I came in. There was a gang kidnapping Thomas. They jumped me. Gang? There ain't no gang operating in my territory. Well, there is now. <laughs> Look, Sheriff, turn me loose. Maybe I still catch up. Maybe you can still catch up with him. You ain't the law around here. How do I know your story's straight? Now then, you settle down, young fellow, and start talking. Oh, you better give me a gun. Now then. Well, Dickie and I were scouting around. We're trying to get a lead on a Diamond Hitch gang. I told you they ain't around here. Are you trying to get me sore? Oh, Sheriff, I wouldn't think of it. All right, you were scouting around. Then what? Missing mill. Missing millionaire. What are you talking about? Certainly. Sheriff, I'll bet you Harrison's behind this whole thing. You've gone plumb loco. Why, Harrison's a law-abiding citizen. 
Why, he was mayor of three trailers a couple of times. If you got any crazy Where's ideas... Where's his ranch? That does it. That settles it. I ain't gonna have no law-abiding folks bothered by no lunatics like you. you you're, you're going to lock up. Sheriff. Hmm? There's a spider on your hat. Huh? Right, take it off. Take it off. Oh, you... Why, you honorary old man with you? Why, that honorary... What am I shooting at? I'll get him. I'll get him, and he's gonna hang for it. Just like this. All of a sudden, Dad just seemed to forget everything except the old days. Well, it's pretty hard to forget that you're president of a big mining company. Well, the doctor said it was overwork. Anyway, I came to Three Trails because this is where he made his first strike years ago. That's how I found him. That was a pretty smart hunch, figuring he'd go back to the places he was thinking about. Mm -hmm. Take a look at this, sweetheart. A hundred thousand dollars? Well, what's that to your father? Isn't it worth that much to get him back to the doctor? You're about the lowest tranchel I ever met. Sticking up an old man and a, and a poor defenseless girl. Shut up! All you gotta do is sign it. What do you think, Dick? What difference does it make what he thinks? Well, I'm against paying ransom for blackmail any place, any time. But he's my father and he's sick. You have to make up your own mind then, I guess. Uh, uh, uh. Dad! Uh. Coming too. Maybe he'll know what's good for him, even if you don't. Come on, Booth. Get some water. That'll help him. All right, get some water. Oh, Dad! What kind of a fool trick is this? Take these confounded ropes off of me. I think he's ready to talk some business. Grab his gun, Alice! Don't be afraid to pull a trigger if he does anything. Don't worry, I will. Who are you? She'll tell you all about that later. Both that double. Don't take your eyes off that guy, Harrison. Ha! Get me untied, quick. Hurry it up! Sure, anything you say. Well, she's got the, my gun. I will still wonder how you're going to get out of here with all my men around the place. Just never mind. I'll worry about that when the time comes. Go on, give me a tide. Sure. Keep your eye on him, Alice. Pick up your hat. I want you presentable when you see the sheriff. law-abiding citizen, Sheriff. Now you can take us both to jail. Well, you got here just after everything was all over, huh? I can't thank you enough, Range Rider. I should thank you, sir. After all, you did lead us to the Diamond Hitch Gang indirectly. And I hope I see you again, Miss Booth. Oh, it's still Alice, Dickie. We'll be in Black River just as soon as the stage can get us there. And you know you'll always be welcome. Only a matter of time when I'd have caught him. Oh, yes, you would. What'd you say? I said you would.
really hope you enjoyed The Range Riders, starring Jock Mahoney and Dick Jones. And remember, it's brought to you free here on the internet by westernsontheweb.com. Hundreds of free, family-friendly Western TV shows and movies. And also, I'd like to add this. Dick Jones is in this. Dick Jones was all over Hollywood back in the heyday of Hollywood. He was in movies with James Stewart, with Errol Flynn, with Randolph Scott, John Wayne. Dick Jones was everywhere, all over the place when he was a boy in Hollywood. Thanks again. I'm Bob Terry. Appreciate you joining us. We hope to see you get on down the trail. Y'all have a great day.